Hello, welcome to United Charismatic Healing Ministry. This is your regular host, Pastor Eddie Cochrane, and I'm here to be a blessing and encouragement to you. That even as we, even as I share, we encourage each other and we build each other's faith. It is my prayer that God will minister to you, will meet you at the point of your need. He will speak a word into your life that will change your story and will change your your situation for good in Jesus' name. I want to continue on the subject I I started last time. What you do when you feel depressed. What you have to do when you are going through depression or you you go through some difficult times and troubles and problems in your life. What do you have to do? And we want to continue from there. Let's share a word of prayer. Blessed Father, we are grateful and we are thankful. We enter into your courts with praise and into your holiest of holies with worship. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving. And we are thankful that we can come. At every given time, we can boldly come to your throne. We are grateful for today. We commit, oh Lord, what we are about to share into your hands. Let your word go forth with power to heal those that need healing, to deliver those that need deliverance, to encourage those that need encouragement, to touch those that need your touch, to empower those that need empowerment. Lord, let your word go and accomplish the purpose to which it was sent in the name of Jesus. Touch our lives for good. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Let's turn our Bibles to Isaiah 40 verse 31. Isaiah 40 verse 31. And uh, I read. It says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Shall, they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those that wait upon the Lord... Waiting is not just sitting down and not doing anything. Waiting is serving God in the capacity where God is giving you. Waiting on Him is being in the church and serving the Lord. Doing what He has put in your hands to do. If it's ushering, ushering. If it's a prayer warrior, being a prayer warrior. Praying for those in the church and outside the church. If it's singing, being in the choir. Serving God in the capacity where with He has placed you. And also being prayerful. Because all that we do in the church has to be backed by prayer. It is prayer that releases the power of God in our lives. When Jesus was baptized in the Jordan, the Bible says when he came out of the water, the Spirit of God came upon him like, like a dove. And the Lord ministered. The Lord spoke about him that this is my son in whom I am well pleased. But after he went through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tested of the, of the devil. And for 40 days and 40 nights he fasted and prayed. Hallelujah. So we need to be prayerful. Even though we go through all these challenges, we need to be very, very prayerful. Because it is through prayer that we will renew our strength. It's true prayer that will mount up with wings as eagles. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. I think it's supposed to go the other way around. The people who, who run are the ones who faint. And the ones who walk will be weary. But the Lord will place it in a fashion where you realize that both of them does not matter. Whatever you're doing, God is with you to give you the solution to whatever you're going through. Amen. It says, when you wait upon Him, He will renew your strength. He will cause you to rise up over everything that comes against you. He will lift you up from the miry clay, put your feet upon a rock to stay, and establish your going. He will make a way for you where there's no way. He will open doors that have been shut before you, and He will make the crooked way straight. He will level the mountains and exalt the valleys. He will break asunder every gate of brass that will hinder you from walking into your destiny and into your purpose. The Lord has promised and He will not fail. In Psalm 30 verse 5, it says, For His anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. His anger is for but a moment. But His favor is for life. So as God favors you, He will favor you till eternity so whatever you're going through pray that God's favor will come upon you pray that the Lord will lift you up from wherever you are and put your feet 
on a rock to stay and that he might establish your going. We cannot look back. We cannot turn back. We cannot give up. We cannot throw in the towel. We cannot be depressed. Amen. Because we have not been called for depression. We have been called to experience the joy of the Lord. We have been called to experience the goodness and the favor of God. We have been called to experience the blessings and the, and the, and the praise of His glory. That we will walk before Him and be that perfect. That's the call of God upon our lives. So anything that is contrary is not coming from God and we need to deal with it in prayer. Praise the Lord. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. So, so as we go through these challenges, as we, as we go through depression, as we go through troubles, as we go through trials, it says we receive from the Lord comfort. He's the one who gives us peace in the midst of chaos. He's the one who comforts us in the difficult times, challenging times, times when we feel depressed. He's the one who gives us the joy of the Lord. So as he gives us these things, he's not only giving it to us so that we will also in turn encourage and give to our brothers who are going through similar problems. That when the Lord takes, brings us out of our depression, brings us out of our trials, brings us out of our troubles and problems, we will also be able to encourage those who are going through similar problems. Because you're not just going through for the sake of going through. You're going through to learn how to come out. And when you're able to come out, you can tell the next guy who is going through that, hey, be rest assured, God will not leave you there. Because I did, I went through the same things and I came out with flying colors. And you can encourage the next person who is going through challenges or going through depression or going through problems or trials. So we learn in the things we go through so that we can help others when they are going through those problems. Romans 8, 38 and 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Paul is saying that I am fully persuaded, I am completely convinced that death or life will not be able to separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It doesn't matter what I go through. It doesn't matter what challenges I face. It doesn't matter what problems or troubles I, I have to encounter. The Bible says that the Lord, say, Paul is saying that I am fully persuaded. I am fully convinced. I have come to that place of rest that God is with me and God is for me. And no devil in hell will be able to overtake what God is doing in my life. He is fully persuaded. He says, it doesn't, doesn't matter what the enemy throws my way. We have to come to that place as children of the living God. That God will not fail. Failure is not in his vocabulary. He hasn't brought us this far to leave us here. He has brought us this far to take us in, to possess our possessions. He told Jacob that he would lead him to possess the gates of his enemies. The Lord has brought us this far for victory. He won't leave us here. For us to go through any kind of setbacks, he is taking us gradually to the place of honor and glory. Because as we suffer these shames and these trials and these troubles and these problems and this depression, he will come bring us to a place where this glory will reveal in our lives. The Bible says that we cannot even imagine or compare the trials we've gone through with the glory that is about to be revealed in us. I mean, the, the, the equation doesn't balance. What we are going through is not to be compared with the glory that is about to be revealed in us. And that should propel you to face any trial that comes your way. That should encourage you to march forward and to build up what you already started building up. Continue in the things of God. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't allow depression to put you down. Reject it. 
Bible says, submit under the mighty hand of God and resist the devil and he will flee. Submit under the God's word and God's authority and, sub, and, and resist the enemy. Resist depression. Resist troubles. Resist trials. Resist temptations. And they will flee from you. But you have to do the, do the praying. You have to submit yourself. You have to commit yourself. And you have to resist. That God will not do for you. He said when you do it, He will make sure His word will come to pass in your life. Even as you stand on the word, He will look to His word to perform. So we know that when we stand on God's word, we can never fail. Failure is out. It's impossible to fail when you stand on God's word because He will be there with you. When Daniel went through his trial, when he was put into the lion's den, he never fretted. He just relaxed. And Bible says, because of his faithfulness, because of his, his integrity, because of, of his righteousness, the Lord shut the mouths of the lions. Even though they were hungry, they were hungry, they could not touch Daniel. Amen. And he put his head on them and he laid on them like pillows and like a mattress. In the morning, the king came. He said, Daniel, did your God that you served day and night was able to save you? He said, yes, king, oh king. My God saved me from the mouth of the lions. That is the God we serve. That when you put your trust in him, you will never be disappointed. He will never put you to shame. When you look at the life of a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were thrown into the fairy furnace, because they refused to bow to the image that Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And so they, they, they suffered that they were, they were supposed to be killed in the fire. But Bible said when they were thrown into the fire, the fire could not have any effect on them. According to what we read in, the, in the Isaiah, the fire could not have any effect on them. He says, when you go through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers, I will be with you. When you go through the fire, I will be with you. He makes sure the fire will not scorch them. And Bible says they were walking in the midst of a fire. And the king saw a fourth man. And he said it was like unto the Son of God. And Jesus was with them in the fire. Because he has promised and he will not fail. Whatever you're going through, Jesus is still with you. He has not left you. Don't let the enemy tell you otherwise. He has not left you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will be with you to the very end of age. And he will help you. Amen. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to, to connect to the Lord in prayer. Trusting him that he will bring you out in due time. Because sometimes you will have to go through the things we go through to learn the things we need to learn. So it's not a bad place to be. Don't let the enemy talk you out of it and tell you, oh, look, God is rejected you. God is forsaking you. God has left you. He has promised and he will not fail. Praise the Lord. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God says, I will help you. I will not leave you. I will, I will be with you. I will strengthen you and I will help you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will lift you up from the mary clay and put your feet upon a rock to stay and establish your going. He has promised and he will not fail. Praise the Lord. I have tried him and he's come through for me over and over and over. And that gives me that confidence that once God is promised, he will not fail. I want you to have that inner assurance, inner confidence and trust that God will never fail. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 51 verse 11, it says, So the ransomed of the Lord shall return, 
and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. We have the victory at the end. We know the end of the story. That at the end, we will be victorious. At the end, we will come out rejoicing. At the end, we will come out glorified. Amen. Singing in Zion. Singing the praise of our God. So don't be discouraged, my brother and my sister. Don't fret. Don't be anxious. Don't be depressed. Don't allow the enemy to exert his pressure upon you. But shake yourself and go to the place of prayer and call upon the Lord. And he will intervene. He will come through for you. He will help you. He will strengthen you. He will uphold you with his mighty right hand. He will lift you up from the miry clay and He will put your feet upon the rock to stay and establish your going. May God bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you His peace. And may the peace of God that transcends all understanding be your portion. May the peace of God that transcends all understanding be your portion in the name of Jesus. May you experience peace in the midst of chaos. May you experience joy in the midst of chaos. In whatever you're going through, may the Lord give you peace and joy. That you might be able to endure whatever you need to endure. And will the Lord bring you out on the other side with flying colors. God richly, richly bless you. And may the Lord empower you. In Jesus' name I pray. I love you. I'll see you soon.